In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for PbNO32 plus NH4Cl. That's lead to nitrate plus ammonium chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. And it looks like I could put a 2 here and a 2 here. And I think the molecular equation, that's balanced. After that, we need to write the state for each substance. Nitrates are very soluble, so I'm going to write Aq. For aqueous, that's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Ammonium compounds and chloride compounds as well, very soluble. We'll write Aq. This lead to chloride here, I'd like to look that up on a solubility table. So let's look on a solubility table here, and we can find lead. That's the positive ion. Lead is Pb right down here, and then chloride's here. So if we go all the way down and we come across... It's a SS. That means it's slightly soluble. Because it's slightly soluble, we're going to consider this to be a solid, and it won't break apart into its ions. Then this ammonium compound here, that's going to be soluble as well. So we have the states. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into the ions. So we need to think about charge to do that. If we look at the nitrate, we can look the nitrate up on a table of common polyatomic ions. In fact, let's do that. Let's pull a table in here. And if we find the nitrate, that's right here. It's NO3 minus. So that has a negative charge. It's one minus. Since we have two of them, the lead, that's going to have to be two plus. For the ammonium, we can find that. That's one of the few positive polyatomic ions that has a positive charge. Chlorine's going to have a negative charge. So we have those charges. This is a solid, so we're not going to worry about it. We said ammonium, 1 plus the nitrate, 1 minus. So we have our charges. And now we can split the strong electrolytes into its ions. These are the things with aqueous after it. So we have Pb, 2 plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write that now. Plus NO3 minus, that's the nitrate ion. This 2 tells us we have two of them. So we need to put a coefficient of 2 in front. Plus NH4 plus the ammonium ion, and the two here means we have two of these as well. So we put a two in front and chloride, Cl minus, and the two, that applies to everything. So we'll put a two here. So those are the reactants for the products. This lead to chloride, it says S, that's the solid. So we're just going to put Pb, Cl2, and that'll be the solid. So we'll leave that there. We won't split that up. We don't split solids, gases, or liquids up when we do net ionic equations. And then we have the ammonium ion, that NH4+, plus. we have two of those, plus nitrate NO3-, minus, and we have two of those. This is the complete or total ionic equation. It's all the ions and the things that we didn't split up as well. Now we're going to cross the spectator ions out. These are things that appear on both sides of the equation. So if I look, I can see there's two of these nitrate ions here and two here. Since I have them in the reactants and the products, I can cross those out. Ammonium, two ammoniums here, two ammonium ions here. Cross them out. Everything else is unique. That leaves us with this lead two ion, two chloride ions, and then this PbCl2, which is the solid. So let me clean this up. And we'll write the net ionic equation for this. And this is the net ionic equation for PbNO32 plus NH4Cl. We have our lead 2 ion, which is aqueous, plus two chloride ions, also aqueous, and then the solid PbCl2, lead 2 chloride. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.